What is going on? It's Hank's Hacker for 13 here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Whiplash movie review. As you guys, if you guys have already seen it, you guys know that the movie was amazing. I encourage you guys to check out the movie and the video. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great movie. But today I'm going to be reviewing another movie I watched over the weekend. It's, uh, it's called Drive, starring Ryan Gosling. Now, I've only ever seen uh, one other Ryan Gosling movie except for Drive, and that was The Nice Guys, and The Nice Guys I thought was awesome, he was hilarious in that. But, um, Drive is another movie I watched of him because it got really good reviews, and I just decided to sit down and watch it because I was bored. Uh, so basically, Drive is about, um, Ryan Gosling and he gets paid to drive people when they rob banks that he's their getaway driver but he gives them five minutes and if they come back within that five minutes he's the driver but if they don't come back within five minutes they're on their own then he has a carry gun, he has a fight, he drives and it's what he, basically what he says in the movie a lot of people said that he doesn't talk much in the movie, I thought he talked a lot but I just want to get into something about this movie that I really liked Action movies nowadays, like I reviewed John Wick Chapter 2, which was an amazing movie. You could see people getting shot in the head, but it was like a quick glimpse of it. What this movie does is like, there's this one scene where this chick gets her head blown off with a shotgun. But you could actually see her head getting blown off in slow motion by the shotgun. And then there's, I'm not going to get into that part because I already spoiled one cool action scene. But... What action movies don't do anymore is they don't actually show that. They don't show the head bursting up into flames and the, all the guts coming out and everything because that's what an action movie is supposed to do. John Wick did that, but you only saw it for a split second, you know? It was still an awesome movie. But Drive is very well directed. Some of the camera work in this movie was awesome, especially Ryan Gosling's character. I mean, he doesn't talk much, but he talks he talks quite a bit. But I just like his care. I just liked his character in this movie. Um, his character was awesome. He played. Uh, what's a, another thing that's weird about this movie? Ryan Gosling's name is actually never um, revealed in the movie. His name's just Driver. They call him Driver. I really would like to see a sequel to this movie, but I later found out that the director said that there's never going to be a sequel to this movie, but there might be a spin-off with Ryan Gosling in it, but I really would like to see a sequel to that someday if some other director takes it somewhere. Because the ending just leaves, I think, so much room for another movie. But um, it's a great movie, definitely, uh, to watch. I'd give a drive a B plus and probably four stars because this movie was really good I did love it and uh, yeah ever since I've watched Nice Guys and uh, Drive I have become a fan of Ryan Gosling so yeah but um, I thought he only did love movies but apparently not um, yeah if you guys saw Drive let me know what you thought of it in the comments hmm. don't forget to like subscribe share the channel with your friends keep the little snakes I'm out